So anybody else that has any bullshit to say or any hateful speech, miss me with it because I'm not responding back to you. I don't care. And it is what it is. You're going to have your hateful opinion and I'm going to have mine. But mine isn't hate. Mine's is love and respect and compassion. And that's what we're missing. Justin DeJesus here, and you're watching Popcorn and Joysticks. Now, uh, this video is going to be a little different. Um, I don't know exactly what to classify it as, don't know what, uh, you know, <laughs> how do you say, a playlist I could put it in, but I definitely think it needs to be said, especially because, you know, I haven't reviewed it yet because I haven't seen it. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm, we're not there yet where we can go see advanced screenings, um, maybe one day soon, but at the moment we are not there. So I haven't saw it. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I mean, you clicked on the video, you probably already know because I'm going to title it something about the video, but uh, I'm referring to the backlash about Beauty and the Beast. Now, I already got my tickets to see it. I'm going to see it opening weekend, just like I'm seeing every movie that comes out this month opening weekend. Um, but it's just been heavy on my heart and, be and because when the movie comes out I'm going to do a review of it I just want to touch on this topic so that I don't spend a, a, you know a lot of time doing it when I review the film because we like to keep our reviews you know 2017 and beyond we're doing it clear concise and to the point um, you know minimal spoilers as possible but and I know a lot of people do it their own way but this is how P&J is doing it so it's just what it is but again I just wanted to touch on this subject because you know, I don't want to harp on it when I do this review. And again, it's, it's been again, it's been heavy on my heart. So the thing is, you know, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm gay. And the whole thing about, you know, LeFou, you know, having the, the producers or director, whoever, make him into a gay character. And then all of this backlash is coming with it. You know, people are just in an uproar, you know, boycotting the film just in, you know, in general, I guess, where they're from. I don't know the state that it happened in. I know that is probably a very conservative state um, or maybe just a town in that state that's conservative. But regardless, <clears throat> I, you know, I'm online. All of us are, at, you know, at PMJ. And I've... I wrote, I've written things online in regards to it, which if I can find those posts or whatever, or the videos that I, I saw, um, or even articles that I saw in regards to this topic, I will certainly post that or give you a link down below. But um, again, I'm just bringing it up because I just don't understand the whole thing. Well, first of all, you guys, the whole thing, that I think overall, the blanket statement, if you will, about the whole LeFou being gay, is that, or that there's two distinctively gay scenes in the film. The whole deal about it that is that parents, and not even parents, not or not just parents, you know, just everybody that has that that hateful way of thinking, because, and, and, and miss me with all the bullshit people talking about, oh, it's, it's just confusion, people are confused, they don't, they don't know um, what to think of something or it's still taboo so they are they're having this mindset and that's why they say those things and you know no it's hate that's what it is it, it's hate um because at the, in this day and age especially in 2017 okay the fact that this is still a conversation is disheartening um at the end of the day you know the blanket statement that we're hearing is that people are saying if kids watch this okay they're gonna turn gay they're like, why put this in a children's film? First of all, first of all, let's not forget how many times there has been gay cross-dressers or gay types of propaganda in anything over the years. And, and it's funny, people act like gay is new. Gay is not new. It may be more prevalent because back then it was a certain way that people or Hollywood or just things in general operated. And being gay or at that time being even black was not one of them. Okay, so let's not forget that there have always been gay people. The reason why it's in a Bible that is how, how many God knows how many years old is because there's always been gay people. So let's stop right there. And the other thing is that I, you know, growing up a gay man, I was never raped. I was never, you know, um, how do you say, uh, exposed or seen anything gay in my life growing up. Okay, I had never seen two guys kiss, nothing like that. Okay, and 
all I all I watched was you know um, obviously every cartoon every other kid watched, but also I watched movies, and in those movies you saw nothing but straight actors, you know, or or actors portraying straight characters, and that didn't turn me straight. That didn't make me want a woman inside. So that rhetoric or that thinking saying that, you know, having, you know, a homosexual character or a gay character in general in, you know, any film is going to change or warp the minds of, um, of children. No, it is not. If your child is gay, I'm sorry, Timmy will be gay regardless if he sees two men kissing or not. Um, and as far as I know, you know, watching um, other reviews of the film that they've already seen press screenings or advanced screenings for, um, there isn't any kissing. There's just scenes um, where one, um, you know, the wardrobe changes one character's outfit. And it happens in the cartoon, which is weird because ain't nobody say nothing then. But that happens and he actually likes it. He's like, oh, you know, he feels pretty. Um, and then later on at the end, we know that LeFou and that same character that was dressed like a girl, um, they have a moment where they just lock eyes and he, it just feels right, I guess, to them because they were dancing. And it's funny because that has things like that, okay, that has always been happening in cartoons and films, just all of that. And main, main reason is because there's always been gay people, and so they had to implement things like that on purpose. But you'll have these Bible thumpers and hatred, you know, hateful people that want to say, um, you know, it's quote-unquote the gay agenda. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I'm still waiting on that book. Uh, it has not been released yet, so I don't know what the fuck a gay agenda is. Shout out to our boy. Um, I did not make that line up, but I really felt him when he said that. I'm like, where the fuck is this gay agenda that y'all are talking about? Because it has never graced my eyes. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, as I stated, it is it is, it is hate. It is. It, it, you cannot go around that. It is hate. And, you know, miss me with all this shit talking about, oh, I don't have no problem with gay people, but I'm not going to let my child watch something. First of all, you have every right to think that way. But that does not negate the fact that that is hate. You have hate in your heart and your spirit, okay? You honestly do. You can feel that way all you want, but that is still hate. And people, you know, you may be okay with hating. And if you own that, then you own that. Stay the hell away from me. But for the people that think that, oh, because, you know, they believe in what the Bible says. Because let's be real and let's be real 100 right now. You guys, this whole thinking of that, of it being wrong or sin, comes from a book, it comes from a book that has been passed down years and years and years and years. Let's not forget what else that book passed down, okay? It justifies a whole lot of things. Also slavery. Also hate towards women in certain aspects. I mean, the list goes on. But here we are, you know, pinpointing this one thing and making it an issue when it is not. Um, you know, but I digress. I mean, the, th the, whole, the whole thing is, you know... I just, I just don't get it. It is 2017. Why are we not promoting love? Why are we not happy that in some way, shape, or form, we're actually supporting the gay community that has been shunned? And, you know, I mean, it's just, it just amazes me how people are that can be that hateful that they see something like that, two men holding hands, or the scene where, the, you know, the guy was dressed like a girl, which, mind you, every freaking actor in Hollywood has done. And whether someone thought about it or not, they still bat, didn't bat one eye and kept it pushing. But here we are making a, a uh, and mind you, in the cartoon, LeFou was, I mean, he was a little too into Gaston. So, in my opinion, he's always been gay, but that's neither here nor there. But just because this Disney character is now openly gay, let's, let's just say that what it is, openly gay. That is where the problem comes in. So you could be gay, but you can't say shit about it. And you can't do anything about it. And you can't act on it. But you can be gay. That's okay. You can insinuate that. But if I know that they're straight in the back of my mind, that's okay. And that's the problem with society. And that is my issue with this. And that is what I just don't get. It's the hypocrisy of the whole thing. But again, it is what it is. I digress. I just wanted to touch on this uh, you know, topic. Because one, again, heavy on my heart. I'm, at being a gay man, you know hearing all of these things, like I said, I'm going to watch the film. And I will let you know very briefly about those two or three scenes and how I felt about it. But from what I've seen and what I've heard about it, this type of uproar and this type of hate was not merited. So that's just my thing. Um, and y'all can say whatever the fuck y'all want. Our true P&Js know what, I, and first of all, know me. And I know we're still getting to know each other, but at the core, we know who each other are. 
So anybody else that has any bullshit to say or any hateful speech, miss me with it because I'm not responding back to you. I don't care. And it is what it is. You're going to have your hateful opinion and I'm going to have mine. But mine isn't hate. Mine's is love and respect and compassion. And that's what we're missing. We've all, we're all missing a little bit of that. Some more than others. But yeah, that's all I have for, uh, for today for you guys. So this weekend, I'll be watching The Beauty and the Beast and The Belko Experiment. So of course, Monday or Tuesday of next week, um, you can certainly expect the reviews. Um, but again, that's all I'm really going to say about this topic. Um, you know, leave with love, leave with compassion, and um, just lead with respect. You know, let's just all respect each other a little bit more. Um, but I love you guys. Thank you for joining me yet again for another video. I hope I didn't bore you, but it's just something that I, I had to say. All right. But I love you guys for watching and uh, make sure you comment, like, share and subscribe. I'm Justin DeJesus. And until next time, make sure you keep that popcorn popping and those joysticks rocking.